Hi guys, Dr. Heimlich here. And one question I get asked a lot is, why did my thyroid gland stop working? Many of the patients will come in, almost a week doesn't go by where I don't hear at least one or two times, is uh, why did my thyroid gland stop working? My doctor just told me it stopped. And that's not really necessarily true. Your thyroid glands don't just stop working. It's usually a slow, gradual process that happens over years until finally you start having more and more symptomatology. You complain about it, you go in, they do a TSH test and they find out, lo and behold, your TSH is high, which means that you have hypothyroidism and then you get prescribed medication. A lot of patients won't even ask their doctor why. Sometimes they don't have time to ask them, whatever, because I ask them, you know, hey, what'd your doctor say? Uh, he didn't say anything. Just take this medication. And that's no knock on the doctors because a lot of times in the medical insurance model, the way it is now, that's all they have time to say is please take your medication, please take your medication. There's no real time to educate you on what that condition is, and then you have to go out on the internet and try and figure out what's going on yourself. So if you're watching this video, you've probably been diagnosed with hypothyroidism. Well, guess what? More than likely, there's about an 85 to 95 percent chance if you're living in the United States and you have been diagnosed with hypothyroidism, you have something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. The research shows it clearly. And what is that? That's an autoimmune condition. That's where your body attacks itself. It doesn't know that your thyroid gland is your thyroid gland anymore and attacks it. And what's scarier than that is it continues. After that starts happening, it attacks the TPO or TPG antibodies. Then it starts attacking other things like your brain tissue, pancreas, um, intestines. Pretty much anything is fair game. Now, most people haven't heard of Hashimoto's thyroiditis, but if you've been watching my blogs and, and reading them, then you know what it is. Um, the standard uh, medical uh, treatment for something like that is to just give you your thyroid medication and let your thyroid pretty much do what they call burn itself out. And once it burns itself out, you continue taking the thyroid medication the rest of your life. That's not sounding very appealing, I know. Um, we take a much different approach in here. And uh, what we try to do is calm down and regulate your immune system so it slows down that attack on your thyroid because we only have so much thyroid tissue in one too much of it gets destroyed, then you start having all these symptoms. And if you're taking your thyroid medication, you still have symptoms, more than likely it's because you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Um, part of that reason is, is because you have cytokines. These are little things that are caused when your body attacks itself. You have a thyroid receptor site, the cytokine comes and blocks that. So that way the thyroid hormone the stuff that you take, or even the stuff you make yourself, can't come and bind and do what it's supposed to do. That's one of the other reasons is because your thyroid just continues to get destroyed. Um, so if you're having uh, thyroid symptomatology and you're taking your medications and you've been told that your thyroid quit or just stopped working, my recommendation is to find a doctor that understands what we just talked about, that understands Hashimoto's thyroiditis and knows how to help you help yourself and modulate and regulate your immune system and slow down that attack on your body, your thyroid gland, as well as the other different type of things we talked about, and get the help that you need. Um, I'm Dr. Heimlich. Thank you very much.